Tonight, we're exposing Hezbollah's financial network and how Hezbollah uses it to fund its terrorist activities. In recent years, the state of Lebanon has experienced a deep financial crisis, which was exploited by Hezbollah. Hezbollah's main financial arm is the al qard el Hassan Association. It provides financial services to Lebanese civilians and pays the salaries of Hezbollah's operatives. al qard el Hassan, which violates the international law, is sanctioned by the United States and other Western countries. Hezbollah's financial network is based on two main sources of income, money from the Iranian regime and money from the Lebanese people. Iran's Quds forces transfer money to Hezbollah from Iranian oil sold in Syria. Iran also sends suitcases of cash and gold by planes to the Iranian embassy in Beirut and then directly it goes to Hezbollah. Hezbollah has also built factories in Syria, in Lebanon, in Yemen, and in Turkey that provide income for its terrorist operations. Hezbollah Unit 4400 manages this financial network. It, it was run by Jafar Ksir, also known as Sheikh Salah, until he was eliminated in a precise strike in Beirut at the beginning of October. Today, in another precise strike in Syria, we have eliminated his successor. The IDF will not allow Hezbollah to regroup and rearm. Not only, in this, not only is this Iranian money used to kill Israelis, it also threatens the Lebanese economy. As Hezbollah continues to smuggle Iranian money into Lebanon in dollars, it devalues the Lebanese pound, making the economy crisis in Lebanon even worse. Another source of income of Hezbollah is the citizens of Lebanon. Hezbollah makes money for Lebanese citizens by offering them financial services through the Al-Qaeda Al-Hassan Association. Last night, we called on Lebanese civilians to move out, move out of arm's way from Hezbollah's financial facilities across Lebanon, including in the Dakhia area. We published these warnings in Arabic on social media and also through other channels. The Israeli Air Force carried out a series of precise strikes on these Hezbollah financial strongholds. One of our main targets last night was an underground vault with millions of dollars in cash and gold. The money was being used to finance Hezbollah's attacks on Israel. This vault was deliberately located under a residential building. Our strikes will degrade Hezbollah's ability to finance its attacks on Israelis. Tonight, I am going to declassify intelligence on a site that we did not strike where Hezbollah has millions of dollars in gold and cash, in Hassan Nasrallah's bunker. Where is, where is the bunker located? Directly under El Sahel Hospital, in the heart of, the, of Beirut in the Dachia. This is the hospital. From both sides you can see an entry and exit. Those are entry and exit tunnel shafts from the underground, for the underground bunker. The entrance is located in the Al Mahdi building and the exit is located in the Al Sahal Center building. This is the bunker. It contains rooms, beds and infrastructure for long stays and the ability to direct combat from underground. Hezbollah built this bunker directly underneath this hospital. There are hundreds of millions of dollars in cash and gold inside the bunker right now. I'm calling on the Lebanese government, Lebanese authorities, and the international organizations. Don't. Don't allow Hezbollah to use the money for terror and to attack Israel. The, Israel Air, the Israeli Air Force is monitoring the compound, as you can see. However, we will not strike the hospital itself. I want to emphasize, we are not at war with the people of Lebanon. We are at war with Hezbollah. And we will continue to operate against Hezbollah 
so that the residents of northern Israel will be able to return to their homes in safety and security. Thank you.